Hello, I'm Shona and this is John and today we're talking about camera bags. But more specifically, we're going to be talking about backpacks and slings. Now, I really like backpacks. Yep. Slings are good too, but the reason why I like them is because if you do carry a lot more kit and it's a heavier setup, these kind of bags are good for distributing the weight quite evenly across your back. Okay, because you've got to think about comfort if you're wearing them all day, right? Exactly. So this is a sling bag. From Lowepro. Lowepro. And yeah, I mean, a bag like this is really good if you're, you know, a cycling photographer yep. or just on the move. Because you've got this side entry thing going on. Exactly. So, for example, if you don't want to take your backpack off, if you're working on the go, you can just swing that around to really the front of your feature. body, take your camera out really easily. So, I think that camera bag is great for easy access and for yep. speed. And you've got like a day bag bit up the top. So, you can have your camera stuff and then you can have your sandwich or your, your tablet. Course. You can have all your other stuff in there. So yeah, one of the things I was saying is really good yep. about this bag in terms of weight distribution is you've got this strap here that you can remove. Mm. So you've got that through your shoulder, I mean over your shoulder, yep. and you wrap that around your body as a third ankle point. Okay. So that just makes it a lot easier to distribute the weight across your body. Yep. And also you've got things like the all-weather cover here that sits yep. in the back. And you just, again, you just pop that over your bag. Like a big shower cap. If it's raining, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just yep. like a shower cap. And that will keep your camera gear really protected Which against again the is really important. Yep. Yes, especially if you're on the move. Okay. But I'm not a massive fan of slings, they're personally okay. not for me. Yep. I carry a lot of heavy kit. So I okay. prefer stuff yep. like Let's see. the Manfrotto Advanced Traveller. And I actually own this bag. Um, Do you? With my own hard earned monies. <laughs> and yeah, I absolutely love this bag. It's great because if you're traveling a lot and you've got a laptop and you've got clothes you want to take with yep. you and your camera gear, for me, I can get absolutely everything this in there. This is the one, yeah. Yeah. And the other thing I really like is if you, if you for example, if you're a if you use tripods, yep. you can slip a B3 from Manfrotto also in here, okay. uh, which is their traveler tripod, and any other traveler tripod should get into there quite easily. Yep. But if you've got a slightly larger tripod, you can also strap that okay, cool. on yep. there. Versatile. And again, it doesn't scream that it's a camera bag, which is good. No, it's subtle. It's a yep. nice design. Um, weather resistant uh, finish on the on the nylon, and it's scratch resistant, so it's quite, quite durable. Yep. But if you do want to access it quite quickly, it's quite easy to get in here. A little sneaky hole, yeah. Exactly. But yeah, you've got some padded inserts in here. In so again, red. Woo. yeah, and you can you can change the inside of it. You can customize it to suit your camera yeah. gear. You should be able to fit a nice size DSLR in there. Maybe two DSLRs and a couple of lenses, okay. depending on the size of your kit, obviously. And these are kind of mid price point. Yeah, they're affordable, but yeah. again, you've got a quality material. Uh, quality materials used throughout the bag. And like I said, it's very versatile. You can remove the inserts completely, like I do occasionally. Yep. Um, if I'm traveling, I can get my camera in here. I can normally get a couple of pieces, a couple of days worth of clothes okay. and my laptop. So I find this a really good all round, yep. you know, traveling day pack or even weekend pack. That's normally my airport carry on when okay. I'm uh, so when I'm So you really love this bag. So I absolutely love this yep. bag in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> But if you want okay. something a bit yeah, more if you substantial, want to go bigger. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the adventurous type. Um, Some people are. I'm really not. But if you are outdoorsy and you're kind of the adventurous photographer, this is kind of the daddy of uh, backpacks. Oof. This style of bag yep. is really what you're looking for because it has features like that a, are designed. It's like a suitcase almost. Yeah, and it's designed specifically, these kind of bags are designed specifically for outdoor photographers. Rugged wear. Yeah, so yep. you know, the landscape types, the adventurers, people who are out in the wilderness. I mean, this has crazy features. Like okay. these, these are loops here, yeah. they're reinforced. So you can put things like uh, an ax okay. in there. They're designed to carry a lot of yeah. weight. And also, if you have a feel of that, yep. That's reinforced. Yeah, that's really sturdy. I, um, I actually sat on this earlier and stood on it and it didn't dip at all. No. So it's a really impressive, in terms of durability and build, that bag is... It's made really well. Yeah, incredibly well made. I think this bag is designed by, um, by Lopro specifically for outdoor photographers. Okay. They've got people who have gone out, tested it, used it in the wilderness. And you know, all, of the, all the little adjustments, like the, the hip strap here, with yep. a sensible kind of zip pocket for a phone or yep. valuable. They've really figured out what you need. Exactly. Plasters, which you'll probably need if you're out in the Ooh. wilderness. A lot of the stuff in this bag have been clearly well thought out. Up here. Yeah. You've got your... Sandwich area. Sandwich area. <laughs> kind of day pack area. Um, again, really well thought out. So as I said in the beginning, one yep. of the reasons why I really like backpacks in terms of weight distribution, if you have heavy kit, is they are designed to spread that weight across your back. This bag in particular has these straps here. Okay. 
Okay. They're, in orange, they're really in nice. In orange, which is quite attractive. And if you get lost in the wilderness, yeah. and you don't want to be confused they for a save, deer or something. They could save your life, right? They could save your life. Someone's <laughs> not going to shoot you because I think <laughs> deers don't have orange straps. <laughs> That's a person. Exactly. But you can tighten these and that helps, including the reinforced cage, it helps distribute the weight more yeah. evenly. So say if you've got your kit and it's more bottom heavy or yeah. top heavy, that cage and these Because I mean, you're straps. carrying a lot of weight. If this is full of stuff, that's a lot of weight. Exactly. And this, the design of it is designed to spread that weight really evenly across your back, across your hips, so you can go out into the wilderness, fit all of your kit in there, and not hopefully not get back in. Okay. So not only is this bag durable, not only is this bag designed specifically for outdoor photographers, but this is comfortable to wear. It's not too heavy, yep. and it is going to get you, you know, through a whole day without causing you too much hassle, and it will keep your kit incredibly safe because it is tough. It's tough. Tough as hell. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. And please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. <laughs>